easiest Oaxacan moles to make is mole amarillo or yellow mole. It comes in two different versions. One is a thicker version and then the other is brothy, typically served with some vegetables. Super easy to do at home, but nice enough that we can dress it up into a beautiful restaurant dish. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that. But first we have to make that yellow mole. And it starts with guajillo chilies. You simply pull the stems out, tear them open and let the seeds fall out. Pull out any veins that you see. Where most of the chilies for mole are toasted, some of them very darkly in Oaxaca. For this one, many of the cooks simply use them as is. So I'm gonna tear these chilies into smaller pieces and just put them straight into the blender. I'm going to add the requisite garlic and onion. But no roasting, toasting, or sauteing here. The next ingredient is tomatoes. And we have a rule in our restaurant that we only use locally raised tomatoes. So that means during season, they're gonna be fresh. And in the winter, we have a farmer that freezes 26,000 pounds of tomatoes for us to use in our restaurant. Since we're filming in off season, these are roasted frozen tomatoes. But if I was cooking at home, I'd buy a can of roasted tomatoes and use half of it for this preparation. There's not very many spices that go into this, and yes, even in our restaurant kitchen, we use a molcajete. I've got just a little bit of allspice, a little bit of cumin, and a little bit of Mexican cinnamon that I'm gonna pulverize. A little bit of chicken broth goes into the blender. Then I'm gonna set it on the base and blend it to a smooth puree. Mexican oregano goes into this mixture as well, about a teaspoon of that. Just put that in, give it another quick blend here. and we're ready to cook this base. Got a little of my favorite olive oil from Baja, California. I'm gonna add just enough to film the bottom of the pan there. I'm gonna put it over a medium high fire. And when it's hot, I'm gonna pour our mixture through this sort of medium mesh strainer here into the pot and cook it just briefly. This doesn't really take very long to cook at all. Just gonna let it cook for a second. Now, while we go and do the rest of the preparation that goes in here, which includes masa to thicken it with and some hoja santa leaves. This is fresh masa, and it's what we use in our restaurant to make our corn tortillas with. If I'm cooking at home and I don't have access to fresh masa, then I would use some of the powdered masa harina to be the thickening for this yellow mole. So I'm gonna put a little nugget of it in here. About a cup full of our chicken broth. And here's the thing that makes Oaxacan yellow mole so special. It's hoja santa. Well, it's something that we have a struggle finding from time to time in our restaurants. So if you don't have easy access to it, and it's a fairly easy plant to grow, my suggestion is replace it with another herb. I love a big handful of cilantro as the flavoring for this yellow mole as well. So I've got my two hoja santa leaves, put that into the blender, and again, we're gonna make a puree. I'm gonna pour this mixture through the strainer into the sauce base. Once this mixture has thickened to the consistency of, say, a, a thick 
cream soup. I'm gonna add the rest of the broth to it. Let it simmer for five minutes, season it with some salt, and it's ready. Yellow mole can go with practically anything. Delicious with mushrooms, chicken, you name it. I'm gonna do it with grilled fish today. Got some really beautiful pieces here of striped bass. I'm gonna lay a couple of them over here and give them a drizzle of olive oil. I wanna coat them nicely on all sides before I put them on the wood grill. Give them a sprinkling of salt. On another one of these chargers, I'm going to put some steamed green beans. Again, a drizzling of olive oil, a little bit of salt, and a quick toss. Uh, these things are all gonna go onto the grill, but in different places. The green beans are gonna go onto a perforated grill pan that is a little above the level of the fire. They're gonna warm up here, get a little smoky, be delicious with this yellow mole. And our striped bass is gonna go into a very hot place on the grill. I have some steamy hot fresh corn tamales here that I'm gonna unwrap to use on this plate of grilled fish in yellow mole. I'm gonna put a ladle full of our beautiful yellow mole on a warm plate, tear up those fresh corn tamales, lay them on the plate, nestle in the grilled fish, Top it with some of the smoky, withered green beans. And then finish the plate with some little microgreens of fresh cilantro and red vein sorrel.